Emmen, reporter for Premier Magazine, and today we talk to Wolfgang Gensch, who is um, a long-time HPC veteran and cloud expert, and who is now involved in the HPC uh, experiment. Uh, welcome, Wolfgang. Thank you very much for this opportunity, Art. So, you're involved in HPC experiment, which is also called UberCloud. Can you just tell us what it, what it is? Yeah, so about a year ago, uh, we were asking why um, HPC in the cloud is a little bit far mm -hmm. behind uh, the general cloud computing developments. Mm -hmm. uh, cloud market is already developing very fast towards a very big, uh, many billion dollar market annually, while HPC in the cloud is lagging behind. And uh, we are trying to find out what are the real hurdles and how we can resolve them. So we invited the wider community to participate. That was last July. Uh, since then, we have over 500 organizations around the world in 48 countries participating. We were able so far to build 95 teams and each team taking an end user's application, porting it into the cloud and getting the results back then to the end user. While the end user, usually an engineer in the industry, small, mid-size enterprises, uh, is not expected to have deep HPC knowledge. So we add an HPC expert to these teams and uh, we add the resource provider, the software provider. So these teams of four, usually, they start running mm -hmm. and we give them three months to finish the project, to write a very nice little case study about their experience with bringing application software into the cloud and results back. And uh, we published a compendium recently with the 25 nicest use cases so far sponsored by Intel, uh, which can be downloaded from HPC via our website. Okay, and the, the, the compendium so also uh, gives useful advice to other people who think should I go to, a, to, a, to HPC in the cloud or should I do something different? So mm -hmm. I think that's the idea of the compendium. Yeah. yeah, so in fact we developed a little template mm -hmm. uh, to tell the teams exactly what topics they should uh, report on, their application, uh, their current status uh, in doing HPC in their own environment and uh, the benefit they believe they can get from the cloud then their lessons learned, their roadblocks they uh, got uh, into and how they solved them. And finally, you have the lessons learned and recommendations for the wider community. Okay, do you also have some other resources available or uh, apart from the compendium that people can read? Or So there are about 66 articles now uh, which either we have written mm -hmm. or uh, our teams have written and published. Uh, so there are a few one on, for example, the digital manufacturing report uh, where uh, teams themselves publish their results mm -hmm. uh, and uh, also at the end of every round we publish a, a round uh, report on the whole findings. Okay, what will be the next phase in the, in, in the mm -hmm. project? So we are now starting uh, in a few days, August 1 round four. Uh, we already have uh, 15 teams for round four who are ready to start mm -hmm. and uh, we give them again three months to uh, move on. We expect another 10-15 teams uh, for this round four so having about 30 or so teams and we are already looking forward to writing and putting together the next compendium. Also, uh, other resources which we use besides the experiment, this is the exhibition. So we have a virtual UberCloud exhibition with about 30 uh, service providers, mm -hmm. resources, software, consulting, uh, with the focus on high performance computing in the cloud. They exhibit their services. Uh, this is very interactive, so whoever visits this virtual booth then can push some interactive buttons to get in touch with the service provider. The other resource we have recently started, the UberCloud University. So uh, once a week we offer a lecture on a specific topic related to HPC in the cloud, where also vendors can come in and present their technology. You know, no marketing pitches, but really deep, interesting information. And uh, usually these vendors pay a bit this is part of our 
sustainability model because uh, we are asked from the community to continue this over the next uh, one, two, three years even because there is obviously a huge interest in learning in this environment of a free voluntary experiment supported by crowdsourcing and social networking components uh, and uh, currently building a real community around that. What is coming up as well in round four is we open up a web platform where the whole currently the UberCloud community, so over 500 organizations, etc., can meet, can discuss topics, and uh, can enter in additional collaborations, can answer questions from other colleagues, and so on. So, a, a real open social networking platform for this wider crowdsourced community. Okay, thanks, uh, Wolfgang, for sharing this uh, with us. Um, for Premier Magazine, this was Art Emmen reporting. Thank you very much, Art. Okay.